Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Minarsik again. Uh, I have uh, some very remarkably interesting news for you, so that's why I decided to make a brief PowerPoint and explain something to you that I discovered recently. Now, uh, I've practiced this a couple of times. It shouldn't take more than about 10 or 15 minutes. So uh, we're going to talk about what, in my opinion, is the very, very best most effective way to read a medical textbook. Okay, now you know that in medical school reading is absolutely a skill which you must acquire well. Now because you have been studying and reading your whole life you may say well I don't think anybody has to tell me how to read. I got some pretty good habits I've acquired over the last 30 years. I agree. And even though everybody already knows how to read in their best, most effective environment, I want to show you something I discovered recently with my uh, iPod. Now, we know that the content of what you read is the most important thing. But uh, comfort, ease, and convenience, in my opinion, is just as important as what you read. Now. Nowadays, it's not a big surprise to know that when you are at a uh, train station or a bus stop or a cafeteria or anywhere, everybody has these little devices. This is an iPhone or an iPod. For all practical purposes, they're the same because they use the same programs. It doesn't matter what generation or whether you use an iPod or an iPhone. Everybody seems to have one, and I have one too. And what I've noticed is that when you go to download various apps from your iTunes store, there's one that's called ICHM Lite. And it's a reader for one of the most popular formats that medical school textbooks are published in. And here's the logo. So remember, when you go on your uh, iPod or iPhone and you look for the ICHM, you're going to see the little red bird. I want you to remember that because uh, the CHM reader is available for just about every possible medical textbook you can imagine. Here's a uh, place, <clears throat> I don't know if you, it's a torrent place actually, where you could get 10,000 different medical uh, textbooks and they're all in CHM format. So there are more CHM medical textbooks than there are books in your medical library even if you're going to a high power school. Well after you download that little uh, program it's going to look like this. You're going to have the little ICHM light and uh, you're going to press the button. Now as soon as you press the button you're going to have a blank screen and the only button you could press after that is a thing that's called manage. So let's press the manage button. When you press the manage button, it's going to give you a, a URL, you know, something that starts with HTTP. And you're going to write that down and you're going to remember it. And then you're going to go to your computer, the same computer that is giving you your Wi Fi network for your iPod or iPad or iPhone device and you're going to type this number into your browser window. It doesn't matter what browser you use. So in this case you typed it in and you said enter and all of a sudden your screen pops up and it says there's no file chosen. Now let's assume that you have some CHM textbooks on your hard drive. Well as soon as you click on the button here that says choose file, it's going to direct you to where your uh, CHM textbooks are. And here's one that I called Robins 8. And as soon as you click the open button, it's going to let you know that you have chosen the file, Robins 8. And then all you have to do on your browser then is click the upload button. Well, voila! Usually within a minute, even though a lot of the CHM textbook 
files are very large. This one is about 65 megs. Some of them are over 100. Even though it's a large file, it'll transfer very quickly because it's on the same network that your iPad or iPod or iPhone is on. It's a quick transfer. And the phone does not have to be plugged in to the USB on the computer. It's a very, very quick transfer. And as soon as it's over, you will then see that your textbook is loaded as soon as you click that particular button. So there's a textbook. And as you know, because I'm assuming a lot of you are already familiar with iPods, if you ever get any image in any part of any textbook that you want bigger, then all you have to do is put your two fingers on the image and spread them apart and bingo, you got it. And usually there is no pixelation. It's a nice, clear, crisp picture. So, so now that you have the front of the book, which by the way looks exactly like the book that I have here in front of me that weighs about 30 pounds, you then click this little button here which is the index. It's a little icon of a book. You click it and as soon as you do, bingo! It gives you the entire index of the book including the table of contents. So if you click the table of contents button it will then give you the general index of the entire textbook if you know uh, Robbins for example there is both a general pathology and a systemic pathology and general is 10 chapters and systemic is 19 so if you wanted to go to one of the systemic chapters you would click on that and bingo it would tell you that chapter 15 is the lung which by the way is the chapter that I have to read uh, for my class that's coming up. So let's say we clicked on lung and bingo. We got a whole bunch of topics under the chapter on lung diseases and one of them is diseases of vascular origin for example. So what would think will happen if you click on that? Well you have the chapter. Now this may look like a lot of words and a lot of these things are very wordy. Now the reason why this is such a remarkable discovery is that this is a full computer screen you're looking at right now but don't forget your iPod is only about two or three inches wide so if you have a line this long on your iPod you're gonna barely be able to see the letters even if you're a young person with good eyes and I'm not a young person with good eyes. So that's where clicking the plus button comes in. Now, I've clicked that plus button a few times, and now look, the words are a lot bigger. Now the reason why I drew this little oval here on the right side is that every time you click the button, it does a word wrap function, which means none of these lines go beyond the uh, context of the screen, which means you don't have to do constant, irksome, horizontal scrolling. All you have to do is scroll up and down, which is what you normally want to do with your iPod anyway. And look, I even clicked this button a couple more times. And look how big the uh, font is now. This is more like a, a Braille over here. These are very, very large letters, and it makes for very comfortable reading. You could read while you're laying down. You know, when you get older, your eyes don't uh, aren't working as good as when you're younger. And in addition, you can't sit in front of a desk for seven hours. I know I could lay down on a couch for seven hours and read, but I can't sit in front of a desk for seven hours and read. You know, plus when you're laying down, I think a little bit more blood goes to your head. So, let's say you're scrolling down on your nice, comfortable uh, iPod any medical textbook you can imagine and you see a picture well this is kind of a nice picture uh, but let's say you wanted to have it a little bit bigger just remember like any other image all you have to do on your iPod is put your two fingers on the image and spread your fingers apart while your fingers are on the screen and bingo you get the big image because this plus button here increases the text size 
but it doesn't increase the image size. So here's what happens when you increase the image size manually. I'm finished, I have nothing else to say. I just wanted to share this with you because I have been looking for an ideal way to read medical textbooks. And like you, who may believe that you have already found the ideal way because you've been doing it for many years, I want you to remember that with the way technology is exploding now, uh, there just may be new ways every day. Thank you very much.